Hi, my name is Lavinia and this is Peter. Welcome to Games Made Easy, a channel to learn board games quickly and easily. Today, I'm going to teach you how to play a real classic intro game and that is Ticket to Ride. Now, there are different versions of Ticket to Ride with different maps, but today I'll show you the original one, which is the North America edition. Ticket to Ride, you're going to learn it in five minutes and you're going to play for years. It is a very exciting game and it can be very competitive if you have experienced players. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. In Ticket to Ride, you compete to claim the most railway routes across North America. The longer the route, the more points you make. In this two to five player game, you will collect cards, train cards, in order to be able to fulfill objectives that are called destination tickets, which are these. Once a player has less than two trains, the game ends and you score the final points. So to set up the game, you place the board map in the middle of the table and then you pick a color. I've picked the red. You place it on the zero and you put the trains in front of you. So you shuffle the train cards and the destination tickets separately. Then you give four train cards to each player and the remaining train cards, you place them face down near the map and turn around five cards with the trains. Then deal three destination tickets to each player. Now you have to keep at least two. Now, if you're feeling lucky, you can keep three. But remember, don't show your tickets to anyone until the end of the game. Any destination tickets are placed at the bottom of the destination cards pile face down. Then you place the longest path bonus card on the map that will give you an extra 10 points. So the game tells us the most experienced traveler goes first but you can simply draw for first place and then proceed clockwise. In your turn, you can take one of three actions. One, you can draw train cards. Two, you can claim a railway route. And three, you can draw destination tickets. There are three ways to score points. One is by claiming a route between two cities. Two is by completing a continuous path between two cities listed on the destination ticket. And the third way is by having the longest continuous path at the end of the game. You can draw two train cards at your turn. There are different ways of drawing the, the cards. You can take two face up. So you would take that one, for example, I replace it and I want the other green. I would replace it here. Another way of taking cards is say, um, I take this black one here and then I open it. Oh, I like the white. I'll take that one and then I replace it. Now, the locomotive is a joker. If you're taking a face up locomotive, you can only take one card. You can't take two cards. And the last way of taking cards is I take one here and I'm going to open it and I like it and I take it. However, if that had been a locomotive, then I would not have been able to take it because I already had one. Now here, there are three locomotives in play. What will happen is we will get rid of all of them and we will draw new five new ones. If we draw three locomotives again, which it doesn't happen very often, we would do the same. Instead of drawing cards, you can claim a route between two cities. How do you do that? Well, if you have the corresponding cards, you can start placing trains on the map. So let me give you a few examples on how it's done. So here I have enough trains to place from El Paso to Houston. I have five greens and a locomotive. The locomotive is a joker. You can use it as any color train. So here I would put the trains, I would discard the cards because I've used them and the six train route 
will give me 15 points. That is all here in the chart, all the points you get as you place trains. Now, with the greys that you see here, you can put any color you want, but it has to be, say, two of the same color. So here it would could be two, two blues to place there. It can't be a blue and a red, for example. And at two to at two to three players, you can only use one of the lines. You choose whichever you want, but you can only use one. After that, it's closed. At four to five players, the double roots open up, so you can use both. But one player cannot take both. It has to be different players. So as people put more trains, the roots start becoming closed. Your third option is to use your turn to get new destination tickets. You can do this at any time during the game. You do not have to have completed your previous tickets. You draw three tickets and you have to keep at least one. For these purposes, I'm gonna show you the tickets. Usually it's a secret until the end of the game. In each ticket, you will have the name of two cities, a map, and a number. This number is the number of points you will get if you complete a continuous path between, in this case, Los Angeles and New York. This is an epic route. It's one of the highest pointers in the game. You have other tickets. So for example, here, this one is from Kansas City to Houston. It gives you five points because it's a much shorter route. You can keep more than one ticket, but any tickets that you haven't completed by the end of the game, then we would deduct the points that are on the ticket, and that can be a little painful. And that's the end of your turn. The player on your left plays next. My tips to win a ticket to ride? Look for longer routes to claim. One with six trains will give you 15 points, whereas two routes of three trains will give you just eight points. It is more valuable to go from coast to coast than from north to south. Sometimes it's better to draw new tickets in the first turns to plan a better route. But also, drawing destination tickets towards the end of the game instead of closing it can give you a lot of points. Try to always compete for the longest path because those 10 points can make all the difference. And don't worry too much about keeping exact count of the score because you can always recount as you go. The game ends once a player has less than two trains left. You do one more round and that player plays once more and then you score the final points. You score all the points you've made with the trains to make sure you have the exact score. Now here you can see that the red made a lot more points than the blue because the red took longer routes than the blue. This is a 15 pointer, whereas the blue took shorter routes, which give you a lot less points. Now we look at the longest path, which is the 10 points. Now the red did one continuous path except for one train going all the way, whereas the blue didn't managed to use all the t all the trains and there's a whole section that we can't use so you see the blues uh train goes just here now we look at the destination tickets the red managed to complement its destination tickets which is really smart it has one ticket going from montreal to dallas and basically that means it does a pit stop in duluth and houston with the other ticket and basically maximizes the use of its trains. The player with the most points wins the game. That's how you play Ticket to Ride. It's a very elegant and simple gameplay with a great balance between greed, taking more destination tickets and fear of losing routes to competitors. It's great with two to five players, but probably more competitive at three and five. The double routes open at four players onwards. It takes about half an hour to an hour a game. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe or leave in the comments a game you'd like us to teach. We'll make more games easy soon. Bye now.